Hi, Eamon here on My Grape Escape. Welcome along to my first video blog. Uh, I'm going to take you through tasting a red wine tonight. Uh, if you're a beginner, you might find this useful. Uh, if you know your stuff, who knows, you might learn something. Um, I'm actually travelling uh, with work at the moment in the UK. I'm in a hotel in Leeds. And one of the best things about working abroad is picking up crap like this. This is a quarter bottle of Hardy's Stamp of Australia Shiraz Cabernet Sauvignon. Probably costs about two quid. Um, I'm going to give it a go. Um, just help us kind of go through uh, tasting a wine. So, there are three main stages to tasting a wine. First of all is the appearance. Second is the smell. Third is the taste. Right? So, let's give us a pour and uh, We'll talk through it. Um, great to get a nice kind of round, bold glass as well for tasting wine. Just kind of, the shape is perfect for just kind of keeping in all the aromas and so you can kind of really get good smell and kind of swirl around and stuff. Um, so with the colour, right? Um, in a red wine, uh, you're kind of looking for vibrancy and the kind of the, the kind of depth of colour. So if it's going to be deep, kind of purple, red, it's going to be young, right? Um, and then as it matures, as the, wine, as the wine gets older, it kind of gets a bit kind of brick red to brown. So this is just, uh, kind of looks as red, to be honest. Um, kind of, could be a couple of years old. Not really sure. Let's check. Uh, it doesn't actually say how old the wine is. Uh, so... This should be uh, stunning. Um, also, I can see the wine's got decent legs. If you read my blog before, you might have seen the article I did on this, so you'd know that legs actually isn't a indication of quality in any sense. It's just a kind of indication of the alcohol in the wine and the viscosity of the alcohol versus water and evaporation. Uh, I'm sure you knew that. If you didn't, uh, shame on you. Um, so that's the kind of appearance. Move on to the, the nose, right? I'll give this a quick sniff. Um, and I kind of just, if you just smell like that, you're not really getting the full kind of flavors, you're not really maximizing, you know, what's in the glass. So you want to swirl it around. Um, practice this with water if you, know, if you kind of don't, don't do it much. But just swirl it around like that. Uh, it really gets the oxygen going into the wine, um, really release all the aromas into the glass. And then just just stick your nose right in and just take a good kind of deep sniff and see what you come up with. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it's quite strong. Um, not a bad nose, better than I thought. It's kind of strawberry, kind of red fruit, a bit of spice. Maybe come from the oak. Um, it's kind of blended Shiraz, so you kind of you'd expect that. Um, Yeah, not a bad nose, not a bad nose. Um, move on to the taste now. So the other things I'm looking for in taste is acidity. So that's kind of, you feel that the side of your tongue. tongue. Um, also tannins, that kind of drying sensation on your, on your lips and your teeth. It comes from the stalks and the stems in the wine and maybe some bit of oak maturation. Um, also alcohol, you get alcohol at the back of your throat. If you ever feel it burning, it's generally kind of high in alcohol. Um, body, you know, full body, light bodied wine, just kind of you know the weight of the of the the wine in your mouth, um, and then yeah, just the kind of flavor characteristics: fruit, is it spice, oak, you know, kind of floral, whatever. So let's just give this a go. Um, I'll give it a sip. Oh. Oh. Um. Best thing to do when you're tasting wine, again, like the swirling around. Really kind of swirl around your mouth as well and take in a bit of oxygen, really kind of get it going over your teeth, all your mouth. Really kind of, you'll, you'll be shocked if you haven't done it before at just the difference um, in the flavour. Really explodes like a part in your mouth. Uh, I forgot to mention actually, if you're in a restaurant and they bring out the wine to taste, generally a sniff will do. Uh, my dad, who starred in my most recent blog, has a great habit of, you know, we're in a restaurant, 
nice occasion and he embarrasses us all by, you know, doing a big ceremony of smelling and tasting the wine and then just declaring that it's the greatest wine he's ever had in his life. Um, no need for that. Just give a sniff. You'll know straight away if it's corked. Um, so I'll give this a quick taste. Gonna be quick because I think my battery's about to go. Um, this is awful. Um, no fruit. Uh, oak is dominating. Alcohol is dominating. Poor balance. Really unpleasant finish. Um, poor wine. I wouldn't recommend this. I'm not putting my name to this. Uh, yeah. Four out of ten. That's generous. Um, Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Look who it is again. Uh, I couldn't leave it on that note because that was just disgusting. Uh, it's, this taste is still in my mouth. So um, I'm going to taste this wine I picked up uh, in Obbins on Clapham High Street uh, on Saturday. It's called a Carcello wine. It's from Spain. It's a blend of Monastrell, Tempranillo and Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, it's 14% and uh, it's got a bit of oak in it as well. Um, let's give it a go. So look at the appearance again. It's definitely darker in colour. Um, they're quite deep and vibrant. It's obviously a young wine. Um, again, I've got the legs for what it's worth. Might as well say it. Um, then let's just give it a sniff. Right, so it's much richer, much kind of really opulent dark fruits like blackberries. Um, really good, really good. Uh, strawberry, a bit of licorice maybe, kind of spice. Uh, yeah. Really, really rich, complex nose. Um, if you completely lost me at this stage, uh, I wouldn't worry. I think the more wine you drink, uh, the more kind of, the more kind of descriptive you can get. So I mean, if you're if you're picking out, you know, an apple or strawberries and a wine, that's brilliant, you know. And I mean, I'm at no stage whatsoever to be any sort of an expert. But um, the more you drink, the kind of more you kind of get to know about a wine and kind of be able to describe it. So um, let's give it another taste. I really like this. Um, nice tannins, nice firm tannins, but really good balance. Um, really good, like the alcohol is 14%, but it's not overpowering at all. Um, nice dark fruit again. Um, really enjoy the wine. A little bit dry, but you know, perfect with a um, bit of juicy meat. It'd be great. Um, mm. Yeah, real kind of nice, kind of savory, kind of meaty finish as well. Like. You get that, you know, you get that quite often in Spanish wines. Um, yeah, I really like this. I definitely drink this again. Get it again. It's really well done, Albans. All right, so that's it for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Um, we'll see you again soon.